there, and welcome to Pets Aplenty. Today on the channel, you'll learn about the French Spaniel, a well-rounded breed that is honest, mild, quiet, and obedient. We've gathered all this information to help you make an informed decision if you find yourself drawn to this beautiful dog. Before we continue, though, we would love for you to become a member of the channel by clicking on the Join button down below. You can also review the perks of Pets Aplenty membership after clicking the Join button. Now, let's get into the video. The Breed's History The French Spaniel most likely descended from Middle Ages hunting dogs from Portugal and Spain. Some other speculations suggest that the French Spaniel originated in France in the 14th century and was bred for hunting. The French Spaniel was a favorite of royalty throughout the Middle Ages. Still, it almost became extinct by the start of the 20th century. However, thanks to the efforts of a French priest named Father Fournier, the language was preserved. One of the most giant Spaniel breeds, the French Spaniel is descended from the bird dogs described by Gaston Fabu. James de Connick penned the initial standard in 1891 and had it updated numerous times. Despite being a rarer breed than most, some wind up in shelters or under the care of rescue organizations. In the 1970s, the French breed was brought to Canada, and in the 90s, it was brought to the United States. In 1996, the French Spaniel was approved by the United Kennel Club. They are also acknowledged as a component of the Foundation Stock Service of the American Kennel Club. Appearance the French Spaniel is a well-rounded dog whose robust build gives him the strength and durability he needs to do his job. They have a strong, straight back and a powerful, arched neck. He's about average in size for a dog, and his proportions are just right. Graceful, muscular, and not too disproportionate. The coat is often a combination of white and brown, with a white blaze extending from the nose to the forehead. However, black and grown markings are acceptable. The silky coat of this breed becomes comes longer and wavier on the ears, the backs of the legs, and the tail. Males must be between 22 and 24 inches in height at the withers, while females must be between 22 to 23 inches. Males and females alike may have a weight between 44 and 59 pounds. Temperament the French Spaniel is a patient and placid pet, especially when interacting with children. It's one of the least suitable dog breeds for guard dogs because of its sociable disposition and incessant need for human attention. Those puppies are quite the little athletes as they're more interested in exercise and sports like fetch than snuggling. These puppies have been selectively developed for their ability to retrieve and their heightened sense of awareness, making them ideal hunting partners. Its hunting instincts mean that it'll naturally create a particularly close attachment with one family member whom it will be especially eager to please due to the dog's superior pointing and retrieving ability. They're simple to train since they're intelligent, placid, and enthusiastic about pleasing their pet parents. They tend to welcome guests until they see danger, at which point they'll bark. However, it is essential to note that if they're left alone for too long, they may start to dig or gnaw on the house's furnishings. Besides that, this dog is perfect for you if you're a busy person who can take them for regular walks. Socialization Due to their kind nature, French Spaniels get along well with kids of all ages, adults, and other pets. This means that the breed is a good fit for homes with children and households with other pets, as well as for trips to the dog park. On no account should a child be left alone with a dog. Playtime should always be supervised by an adult. Training and socialization play a role in whether or not your French Spaniels will get along with humans and other pets. It's vital to train your children to respect a sleeping dog and never snatch a toy or its food bowl during feeding times. Kids should avoid hitting, scratching, or biting a dog, as this could be provocative. Whenever a French Spaniel detects danger, its affable demeanor may vanish. Grooming French Spaniels haven't yet earned a good name for being allergy-friendly. However, these puppies are easy to groom because they're usually calm and quiet. If you want your Frenchie to appear their best, you need to provide more than just weekly grooming. They also need the occasional wash. You may need to cut the fringes and feathers around the legs, ears, and tail every three to four months to eliminate knots that form over time. Brushing the fine coat twice or three times weekly can maintain it in excellent shape and free of knots. 
spots. Doing this frequently helps the natural oils from his skin to distribute themselves throughout the hair. As part of the grooming routine, you should regularly inspect and clean their ears for dirt and bugs as directed by your doctor. Once weekly, cleaning should be adequate to avoid a buildup of wax and debris unless there's a current ear infection. An ear cleaning solution designed for canines is essential for maintaining healthy ears. Since a dog's skin has a different pH than a person's or a cat's, human and feline ear cleaners are inappropriate. To avoid dental problems, you should care for their teeth regularly. If possible, brush them once daily. Lastly, your dog's nails should be trimmed once or twice a month before they get painfully long for your dog. The noise of their feet clicking on the ground is inappropriate. Ensure that the time spent together throughout the grooming process is fun-filled. This will make your Frenchie look forward to such sessions. Exercise the French Spaniel is a robust and energetic breed born with natural herding abilities. It requires at least an hour of daily exercise with its owner since it becomes too excited and hyper when taken on walks. The dog may go for walks many times a day, play in the backyard, which is fenced in, or both. Indoor games like hide and seek, chasing a ball rolled over the floor, and learning new skills are great ways to get your dog moving. Another favorite activity of the breed includes retrieving games, which may help it reach more exercise and boost its mood. Swimming, hiking, and catching balls or flying discs are all great examples of active pursuits that can be enjoyed outside and help people burn off excess energy. The French Spaniel should not be an apartment dog since it requires time to go about a yard throughout the day to develop its sharp nose and other senses. Even if you live in an apartment building, you may still get your dog some exercise by taking him for brief walks in the halls, particularly on days when the the weather is terrible. They won't put on extra weight if you give them the required daily amount of activity. Training the French Spaniel is intelligent and eager to please, which makes it easy to train. The breed is good at hunting, but its natural prey drive can also be used to good effect when retrieving and pointing games are played with the owner's belongings. The dog's favorite person, or master, is usually the best person to teach it new commands or tricks. This is because the dog's temperament is sensitive and needs constant praise and rewards instead of punishment when it does something wrong. Crate training may help slower puppies learn to go to the bathroom outside and speed up the process. This means giving the puppy a kennel or some other safe place in the house where he can stay when he's alone. When a dog has his own space, he's less likely to mess it up and learns how to go to the bathroom faster. Diet and Nutrition a French Spaniel's diet should be designed for a medium-sized breed with a high activity level. Many manufacturers of dog food provide different recipes for toy, small, medium, extensive, and extra-large breeds. Like any other dog, the French Spaniel has different nutritional demands at various stages of life. To prevent them from gaining weight, it's essential to keep to a set feeding schedule and remove all access to food throughout the day. Since there's so much diversity among individual dogs regarding weight, energy level, and health, it's best to consult your veterinarian for advice on your French Spaniel's food. Treats should be given to them in moderation. Water that's safe to drink should be easily accessible at all times. Health Regarding dog breeds, the French Spaniel ranks high in terms of overall wellness. The breed is healthy, although it has come back from the brink of extinction within the last century. Some diseases have been seen in French Spaniels with some regularity, much as how some health issues seem to run in families. Such illnesses are epilepsy, hip dysplasia, and external otitis. While some French Spaniels may have health problems, the breed is generally robust. Potential pet owners may get the information they need about the breed's unique health problems by collaborating with a reputable breeder. Keep up with your Frenchie's veterinarian exams just as you would with any other dog so that you may catch any potential health issues early. A veterinarian can advise you on the best way to maintain your dog's health. Would you consider the French Spaniel as a companion? Let us know in the comments section. Consider becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button to get early access to our upcoming videos plus other membership perks. Also, check out our playlists and click on the video links that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.